A Vice report details the wild story behind a psychic, a diamond heist, and this former Qatari official. 16 Qatari firms make it onto the top 100 Middle East companies. Former football legend Rio Ferdinand has been wrapped by an advertising watchdog over a Qatar ad. And finally, Messi has confirmed that Qatar 2022 was his last World Cup. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. A report has revealed how Qatar's former prime minister was the victim of one of the most significant jewelry heists to occur last year. Sheikh Hamad bin Jassim bin Jabir Al Thani lost some $90 million in a burglary devised by an alleged, quote, psychic, according to Vice News. The peculiar event began when HBJ's assistant sent 17 jewelry pieces worth over $90 million to a psychic to cleanse them of bad energy. For the full story, head over to our website. In other news, 16 Qatari firms have been listed in a Forbes top Middle East companies list. Comfortably positioned in third place on the top 100 list is QMB Group, valued at $21 billion. Industries Qatar, Qatar Islamic Bank, and Aridu also made the list. The business publication said despite high inflation and global instability, the firms have increased their overall net income and profits compared to last year. And now, former Manchester United legend Rio Ferdinand has has been warned by a UK-based advertising watchdog over an ad on Instagram. The footballer posted an advertisement in December to promote Qatar during the World Cup. However, while the footballer used hashtag ad, the Advertising Standards Authority said this was invisible for mobile users. The watchdog said Qatar Tourism acknowledged that the presentation of the label was not prominent enough and amended the post to make it clearer. And in sports, Argentinian superstar Leo Messi has officially confirmed he will not be taking part in any future World Cup. The soon-to-be Inter Miami star and former PSG forward said Qatar 2022 was his last World Cup. Messi completed his mission and dream to secure his first ever World Cup during the tournament in Qatar last year. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.